Hi, welcome to the National Korean Sports Online News. And here at this wonderful conference here in Singapore, uh, CFE uh, 2013, uh, there are two questions uh, in regards to system sustainability. And we have uh, Mr. Glenn uh, Silverman, uh, who is the Chief Investment Officer for Investment Solutions uh, Limited. Um, Mr. Glenn, please tell us you know, uh, what are the the concepts of multiple investments uh, that comes together in this world today and why do you say that it's, it's not going to be sustainable anymore? So in my presentation that I covered today, there are a number of themes. They're big, they're macro. We talk about finite earth, which is everything to do with using up the planet. We have a finite planet. We cannot place infinite demands on it. I talk about the world of economics and finance. There's a whole lot of things happening there. Our American corporate earnings, all corporate earnings, which are at very, very high levels. Are they sustainable? Can they maintain these type of levels? Governments and central bankers have very stressed balance sheets. Um, they try and quantitative easing across the globe. The central bank balance sheets have doubled, tripled, gone up sixfold, etc. Is that sustainable? What is the unintended consequence of these very experimental policies? Demographics, we now have over 7 billion people in the world. They're aging also very rapidly. We have parts of the world where getting a job if you're young is very, very difficult to do. Social dynamics, tensions, etc. There's a whole lot of very big macro themes that I try to bring together in a presentation, which is hard to do justice in just a few minutes, but these are some of the things we need to be thinking about. What will be the, what will be the key uh, long-term uh, microeconomic trends uh, do you see that links to sustainable uh, concepts? And are there ways that these trends will affect uh, every investor today? Not only will they impact on every single effect, every single investor, every human being on this planet. I mean, these are very, very, very big issues. If, for example, we do have a problem with finite Earth, or if it is global warming or climate change or whatever people want to claim, those are obviously going to have consequences for more than just investors. It's going to be for, for people themselves as well. We are looking for great asset managers around the world to try to pick up on these ones. What we really want them to start doing is at least reduce risk. Because if they get things very, very wrong, if you've got a company that has an unsustainable business model, at some point in time it's going out of business. So we want our good asset managers to try to pick on those, those type of themes. We want to try to get good returns, competitive returns, but also a reduction in risk. And that's kind of the, the model that we have. And what is the future of the investment industry and what steps uh, do you have in mind uh, advice for investors? So I think the investment industry, everything to do with finance since the global financial crisis has had many challenges thrown at it, many questions asked of it, issues of integrity, issues of sustainability, issues of providing good value to because issues of fees and are they, are they equitable and at the right type of level. So like every other industry, I have no doubt whatsoever, but there are some specific challenges thrown at this particular industry. I have no doubt it will survive and prosper. I have no doubt that the good will come out, you know, will rise to the top and the, the, the guys who are not so good will be left behind. But there most certainly are challenges. I think those who take a very short-term focus, people trying to day trade or month trade or try and give you the best returns for the next quarter or two, might find life very, very challenging because you can have momentum going a certain way and then whiplash when it goes the other way. We want people to take a longer-term view that's both asset managers, the people money, managing the money, and the investors who give their money to. Uh, how can your company, Investment Solutions Limited, uh, assist uh, investors uh, today and for tomorrow? And how can they contact you for more information? Okay, so we are a Johannesburg-based company in South Africa, but we run certain global portfolios as well. The way we try and help our investors is to take the complexity away from them. We meet hundreds of managers around the world and put a few of those together, the right combination of managers, into portfolios. And we are thinking about these big themes. We want to find managers that decorrelate, move differently over time, they can outperform and they can take a longer term perspective, etc. So we do believe that those people who come to our portfolios will get the full benefit of the team and the expertise that we bring. We have websites under investment solutions, so they can have, certainly have a look at that, etc. Um, you know, there's, there's, there's many ways and means to get hold of us. Well, once again, thank you for joining us here at the National Grid's Choice Online News and once again, uh, viewers, please do contact Investment Solutions Limited on their website for more information.